Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be looking at adding and subtracting fractions with the same denominator. All right, and the key thing that I'm going to mention here is they have to have the same denominator. Now, you might be wondering, what is a denominator? Denominator is, of course, the number at the bottom of a fraction. Numerator is the one in the top of the fraction. Denominator is down in the uh, bottom of the fraction. Now, the biggest mistake that I see kids doing when it comes to adding fractions, and I you know, they, they, they just hear something and they kind of like take part of that information and then that's it. That's their, like, it's like almost imprinted that this is how they're going to, uh, this is how they know what fractions is. So here's the thing. And this is something that I recommend doing, especially at the beginning, if you want to get comfortable with fractions. When you have two numbers that are the same denominator, I always suggest my, my guys to do this. I'd say put four plus two together. And because they're with the same denominator, you kind of put like this one big line under 4 plus 2 and um, put a 10 underneath it because they have the same denominator. And because they have the same denominator, all you have to now do is just add whatever's in the numerator. So that would be 4 plus 2. So in this case, this is going to be um, 6 over 10. All right. So let's have a look at another quick little example. Um, and so here I'm going to have like 7 over 15 plus 3 over 15. So first thing I'm going to do is because they both have the same denominators, same denominators. You got 15 here and 15 here, same denominators. So I'm going to add 7 plus 3 divided by 15. And of course, I'm going to get 10 over 15. Now you might be wondering, hey, uh, how about uh, can you do it uh, simplified further? Of course, you can simplify it further. Um, and we'll talk about that um, maybe after I finish the main points of this. Uh, and then we'll actually go back to those 6 over 10 and 10 over 15 and show you the simplified, simplified fractions. Um, so what about the subtraction? Same thing. What are we going to do? Same denominator, 10. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 4 minus 10, uh, sorry, 4 minus 2. And that's divided by 10 because 10 is a same denominator. Uh, then we've got 4 minus 2, which is equal to 2. And we don't do anything to the denominators. If they're the same, you just leave it as it is, um, as over 10. So let's try to do another one. So here I'm going to do 7 over 15, take away 3 over 15. Let's look at the two denominators. We've got both of them are the same denominators, which means we can rewrite them like this, 7 minus 3 over 15. Same denominator, so yeah, that's pretty much it. 7 take away 3 is 4, so what we've got here is 4 over 15. All right, cool. So pretty much that's how you do um, addition and subtracting uh, subtraction of fractions with the same denominator. Now, if you made it up to this part, you're probably wondering what I was talking about, that equivalent, uh, sorry, simplifying those fractions um, further, because have a look at this. You can have 6 over 10, and both of those numbers have 2 as, you can divide both of those numbers by 2, and that's what I'm going to do. So 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3, and 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. Now, if this is just an equivalent fraction, um, have a look at them at the video in, <clears throat> in this series, the previous video, it should cover this out. And as for the 10 over 15, I can divide both of these numbers by five. And how do I know that so quickly? Because of my times tables, all right? So it's really important that you guys learn your times tables. So 10 divided by five is two, 15 divided by five is three. And same with that two divided by uh, two over 10, uh, I can I know that 2 is a uh, number that I can divide with both of those numbers, so which means 2 divided by 2 is 1, and then 10 divided by 2 is actually 5. Cool. That is pretty much how you do addition and subtraction fractions with same denominator, and of course, simplifying the answer right at the end as well. Okay, that's basically it for this short little video, guys. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video in this series.